How you doing? Welcome to Change is Good. My name is Brian. As you can see, we have another $500 box of half dollars to go through. We're going to be looking for silver, proofs, NIFCs, varieties, mint errors, foreign coins, anything worth more than face value. Let's see what we got on top. Looks rather normal. Uh, let's get into them. Roll number 10. We have a variety. Under the scope is a 1976D Bicentennial. If you look here at the top left of the one in the date, you can see it's quite a bit thicker than normal. Normally it's a little more pointed than this. You can see splitting on the top right of each seven. And there's normally a split here at the top there for the six, but it's damaged. It's hard to see it. This is DDO number one of Variety Vista. We're on the board. Let's go back to the box. Roll number 14. We have an NIFC or a coin not intended for circulation. The 2005P, minage of 3.8 million. Not in bad shape either. All right, let's go back to the box. Roll number 16, and we have another variety. Here we have the reverses of two different 1973 Philadelphias. The top example is the regular die. The bottom example is DDR number two on Variety Vista. As you can see, the lettering's a little bit thicker than the top example, and the bottom serifs of the S's on the bottom example are a bit more rounded than the top example, which has sharpened serifs. And if you hold the coin upside down at an angle, you can see the notching at the bottom right corners of the lettering and the word America. All right, let's go back to the box. Same roll. And we have another NIFC. This is a 2010P with a minage of 1.8 million. All right, back to the box. Roll number 17. And this looks good. Looks like a 90 to me, and looks a little bit worn to be a Kennedy. Let's see what we got. Fifty-eight D Franklin half. We got silver on the board. Let's get back to it and hope there's more. We're on roll number eighteen. Got something kind of cool here. Check this out. Chase Bank, Hastings, New York. July 3rd, 2019. So whoever did this, your coin is now on YouTube. You're welcome. Let's go back to the box. Roll number 21. We have another NIFC. This is a 2003D with a ring of death on it. Millions of two and a half million. All right, let's get back to it. Roll number 25, the halfway point. We have another variety. Under the scope, we have the reverses of two different 1972 Philadelphias. The top example is the regular die. The bottom example, as you can see, is a lot thicker. This is DDR number one on Vrita Vista. You can see the bottom stairs of the S's are rounded on the bottom example versus sharp on the top example. There will also be small notches at the bottom right corners of the lettering in the word America. All right, let's go back to it. We're on roll number 28, and we've got a rerun variety. Let's go to the scope. Although it's a bit beat up, here we have another 1972P DDR number one. As you can see, the lettering is quite a bit thicker than normal, and the bottom stairs of the S's are rounded instead of being sharp. All right, let's get back to it. Roll number 37. We have another NIFC. This is a 2006D, minutes of 2 million. All right, back to the box. Roll number 40. We have another NIFC. This time is a 2010D, minage of 1.7 million. All right, back to it we go. Roll number 43, we have another variety, and it's another rerun. And you guessed it, it's another 1972P DDR number one, in a little bit better shape than the last one. Let's go back to the box. 50 rolls down, let's do a recap of the hunt. Overall, it wasn't a bad box. We had a total of 12 finds on the board, if you include this one. We had one 90% silver and 1958D Franklin half. That was the find of the box. We had five varieties, a trio of 1972 P DDR number ones, a 73 P DDR number two, and a 76 D DDR number one. We also had five NIFCs and the coin from the Chase Bank in Hastings, New York. As always, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, you all know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any feedback or questions about any of these finds, or if you're from the Chase Bank in Hastings, New York, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks again. And remember, every coin has a story. And some of those stories are spelled out for you.
I'll see y'all next time.